Hello, welcome to our channel. We appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you for coming. You are the salt of the earth. You are everything. It's going to be tough over the next two weeks because everything we say will be massively censored. You know, Jen, we went up to like 11, 1200 hits on Before It's News and all of a sudden we were down to 74. You know, it's funny. I was thinking this morning, um, what's different between this election and then the last one with, uh, with the Trumpsters? And uh, it, it was, there was so much more um, talking and, and bantering back and forth and, um, and stories in the news and everything. That were censored. And it's not there. It's like mum's the word compared, what is that? This is who we're going to call Fliberty Gibbet. Well, we know that. Okay. We can't say this word because this word was in our title and it took us from 1,100 hits in the first couple hours down to 74. I mean, these people are serious. Oh, Bunsby yeah. took power, but he never intended to give it back. Oh, yeah. Herman Gehring, number two to a man with a funny mustache. So we're going to start talking in riddles like the frazzled rat. You all know who that is. We had our video pulled uh, because we showed a picture of a cat that just had a bath, and we called it the frazzled rat. So our video was pulled because of who we were. So now we're going to call this, we're going to call her Fliberty Gibbet. So anyway, um, Lucifer's on the ballot in Utah. As mass layoffs accelerate, you will not find our stories in the news anywhere. Nowhere. So. Not this one. Not this one. Not any of them. So anyway, um, gold is up and up. 2714. Make sure you get it from our reputable people like Noble Gold, 877-646-5347. Because, like Jim Willie said, a third of the stuff he buys in Costa Rica is fake. A lot of the stuff out there, especially on eBay now, is fake. It's iron, and it's not even silver-coated. They just polish it up. So a lot of fake coins out there right now. So I go to Noble Gold because they guarantee the gold and the silver. They have a machine. Beep, 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 beep. Make sure it has gold and silver in it. Anyway, a um, couple of first things. On the 11th, it's going to be, remember November 11th, Veterans Day? There's going to be all kinds of restaurants offering free stuff. And after 4 p.m. on Golden Corral, they're going to have a special buffet for veterans. And it's your medical. We would, would be amiss without announcing this. If you're on Medicare, which over 100 million people are on, not just the retired folks, it's you change your enrollment on your extra plans on Medicare. Call the state. They'll tell you who to talk to. So we have an appointment already to review our Medicare. And finally, this is the official ballot for Washington County, Utah, general elections, November 5th, certified by the, by the uh, cleric, oh, a cleric, that's what you call a Luciferian, uh, uh, you know, a priest, a cleric or the auditor of Washington County. Now, Lucifer, or now let me give you his name. Remember Sam Bankman Friday fried the banks? Sam is the program to distribute money to the elites. That's where the $40 trillion went that uh, Biden spent. Well, his name is Just In Case. Everlove. Oh, his name is Lucifer Everlove? Yeah. Everlove. That's his fake name, but his real name is Just In Case. If that's not a CIA plan, he didn't qualify for the ballot. Yeah, but they put him on there. They're like the second one down. Well, it's like the guy I pulled out of, out of, I mean, he was hitchhiking, so I put him in my car, drove him right through Salt Lake. He says, man, that's the head of the Mormon church in there with the bonfire. Yeah, I was the sacrifice. They brought him in, made him an elder, anointed him, brought him into the main church where nobody else was allowed to go, brought him to the barbecue, and then they said, you're the sacrifice. So all I know is he came running out of there screaming. I picked him up, brought him. To, that was when I used to pick up hitchhikers. Now the hitchhikers are all weird. Oh, but that does not happen anymore. No, the criminals are all released from jail. So, uh, anyway, and so Lucifer is on the ballot in Utah, just in case everybody else loses. In other words, the shenanigans continue. We all know that the president is appointed by a council of five in the organic constitution. But they're having shenanigans and they're having fun seeing how stupid you are. The great state of Mormonsville, Utah, puts Lucifer on the ballot. What a bunch of Luciferians. I mean, same with Mitt Romney. What a traitor he was. Anyway, so um, 
The Department of Justice is suing every state that's eliminating dead voters from their from their voter rolls. You know, I don't fear dying. I fear coming back and voting for from the dead and voting for a Democrat. Anyway. That if you are going to remove illegal aliens, you're getting sued. If you're going to remove dead voters, you're getting sued. If you have, say, 50 or 60,000 people who've moved out of state and live in another state and are registered to vote in that state, and you go to pull their voter registration, you're getting sued and sued and sued and sued by the Department of Justice, which is the biggest competitor to the United States. The Department of Justice Corporation is the biggest competitor to the United States Corporation. Down in Bradstreet, baby. Anyway, um, President Zelensky went in front of the European Union and said, and he demanded, either you put me in NATO or you give me nuclear weapons. What, he's about this tall and wearing a t-shirt? There's like four different Zelenskys. He lives in Miami. We, I'll tell you what, Biden and Kamala, I'm sorry, I can't say that word. I, I apologize, I apologize. I can't say the name. They're going to fight till the last Ukrainian is alive. And have you noticed, did you ever have a doll like a Barbie doll? Where you, and I don't know if Barbie had it. You pull a cord and it says, hi, my name is Susie. I'm a Susie doll. Sorry if I'm stepping on a patent. Hi, my name is blah, blah, blah. And then you pull it and they, the doll says something else and the doll says something else. Well, yeah, we all had them when we were little. Yeah. Look, my doll, doll talks. Talking talk. Susie or something like talking that. Talking G.I. Joe, whatever. I had a G.I. Joe as a kid. Come on. All kids had G.I. Joes and all their sisters had Barbies. So they, you know, that's just life. I don't know what it is today, but that was life then. So, well, anyway, have you noticed that when she goes on a program, it's like pulling a chain? Well, what do you think about the border crisis? Well, let me tell you about the border crisis. Click. All of a sudden, they switch there's a, a jerk in the camera, and all of a sudden, it's like somebody pulled the cord. She has about 600 of these recordings. Like if she's talking about immigration, she has 20 of them. She says the same thing on talk show host after talk show host. What do you think about uh, the status of microphones? Well, let me tell you about microphones. It, all of a sudden, there's a jerk, and they pull the cord, and she says the same thing that she did on another talk show host, word for word. It's almost like a... It's almost like a Barbie doll pull chain. She never answers a question. Answer 304. They hit the button and then she does the answer. Yeah, so the 300s might be for the border. Whatever. The four, so then they push a button and she says the same thing, which is totally irrelevant to the question. But there's always this poof, 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 poof. Only this time when they go poof, she's talking and all of a sudden everything jerks and then there's a new voice. It's like she's programmed to do this. I don't know what a pacif pacifier robot. I don't know what they call it. So anyway, we got to looking at layoffs. Now we can talk about layoffs because we're not going to talk about Fliberty Gibbet much, except she's a robot. You know, in this one on the last interview, did you notice smooth neck? Not the wrinkled neck. She wasn't breathing through her chest. She had earlobes. The other one has no earlobes. Anyway, so mass layoffs. So we noticed that John Deere was laying people off. Massive layoffs. I'm like, well, why is John Deere laying people off? This is all caused by the federal government. The federal government has ordered tractor companies to computerize their tractors. So you can't even change a light bulb. You know, a left turn signal goes out in a tractor. You can't change that without calling the dealership to come in and reset the computer. Well, farmers are sick of that. So all their old tractors in the barn are getting fixed up. Or they're taking their combines that are 20 years old and they're completely rebuilding them. There's no downturn in the farmer's market. The articles lied and lied and lied. What's happening is farmers are going back to the old tractors without the computer system so they can repair a transmission. So they can, I mean, I, you know, they can re change a headlight without calling the dealership and costing $800 to change a headlight. I remember in the Army, we had this headlight assembly, Jane. $128 to replace the headlight assembly. We had to throw the old headlight assembly out. I went down to Kmart and bought a 2023 bulb for $1.50 and replaced it. 
Boy, when they found out I took out four screws, took out the 2023, put in the new 20, put on the four screws, they had a hissy fit. I mean, they threatened to tar and feather me, put me under the keel and court martial me and lock me up forever. I said, why? My armored personnel carrier now works. So then we had this special spray paint that was $100 a can. Well, some of our spray paint was wearing off. So I went down to Kmart and I bought some spray paint. Actually, I think I went to AFI's, the military store, and redid it. They said, wow, nothing's cracking on your armored personnel carrier. No, sorry, Bob Rooney, I have the best, prettiest armored personnel carrier in the world. Everything works. All the light bulbs work. How'd you get it? You didn't order any parts. No, sorry, Bob Rooney, you pay me all this money and I fix it up. Oh, my God, Jane, you should have seen that lieutenant and that captain. O'Brien, come un glued. I mean, he probably made general. Anyway, what do you mean you didn't buy it? Boss, it takes 10 weeks to get in a can of paint and it cost the Army $100. I bought it for a buck. Oh, they came unglued. Well, the same thing is now happening to Gabota, Akko, John Deere, Caterpillar tractors. They are having hissy fits because nobody's buying their garbage anymore. John Deere turned all the tractors off in the eastern Ukraine and they couldn't harvest any wheat and then there was a wheat shortage. Remember that? Ah, great wheat shortage. Yeah, that's because John Deere turned off all the tractors from their headquarters in the United States. People are sick of that. So they're going back to the old tractors in the barn that have been sitting there rotting or the ones in the field, taking off the tires, redoing all the metal, redoing the motors, redoing the carburetors, buying some condensers, Maybe buying a new steering column, getting all new light bulbs, sanding it out and spray painting it. And all of a sudden, for a couple thousand dollars, they have a brand new tractor. Rather than sending a guy out from the dealership for $2,000 to replace a stinking left light bulb. So all of the tractor companies are having mass layoffs in the United States. Not anywhere else where the government doesn't mandate all this crap. And RVs. Airstream, Forest River, Newmar, Winnebago, uh, Tectonics, oh, and DeWalt, by the way. They're all having massive layoffs. Now, I have a friend who works in the RV business. He says RV sales are up. Well, maybe so. We're about 90% government funded here in, in the Puget Sound. When the government funding gets cut off, oh, boy, we're going to have some trouble. Anyway... So the RV and trailer industry is laying massive amounts of people off. Trailers and RVs, camping trailers, Wilderness 21, all those things, and Cat, John Deere, Kubota, Akko are all laying people off. Jane, it's everywhere. If you type in tractor companies and go to each and every individual tractor company, massive layoffs. And I'm surprised DeWalt assembles the Chinese-made parts in the United States, their assembly plant is being moved to China. Now, this all came about because I wanted to know about Ryobi tools from Home Depot, which is made by Tektronics. Tektronics, massive layoffs. They own several companies like DeWalt, or control them anyway. And so they're all massively laying off. You won't find this in the news. What you're going to find over the next, oh, I would say 14 days is economy's up, inflation's down, go outside and look. Yeah, hey, gas was $1.29 and now it's $4.29 in the last three years. Food prices have more than doubled and they're spiking. Massive layoffs across the country. Anyway, all car manufacturers. Stellantis has 23, had 23 factories in America. I think they're down to seven. They've all moved to Canada and New Mexico. Car manufacturers are no longer in this country. What happened was the auto workers struck. They had a big strike. And then, then Stellantis, which makes most of the cars, that's why they all look the same. That's why a, a Subaru looks like a Ford, looks like a Cadillac, looks like a Chevrolet, looks like a, they all look the same because the parts are all the same. But they're all computerized for that particular model. It's in the computer software. So by God, you can't buy the same oxygen sensor for a Ford truck or a Chevy truck because they're all encoded differently. 
But if you had an old truck, you wouldn't have to encode it. So old vehicle sales are going through the roof. Well, new car sales are going because they're putting out government designed cars, government designed tractors, government designed tools. The new Ryobi tools, garbage, government designed. The new gas cans that leak all over your hand, government designed. But I called on that one day, spent a half a day asking who's responsible for the garbage handles coming out of gas. No, well, it's their fault. It's their fault. It's their fault. Nobody would take responsibility. Like a bunch of lying children. The sooner we shut down the government, controllers, the better. 90% of these government controller corporations were not around when I was a kid. There was no BATF. Anyway, God bless. Thank you very much. And you can expect with Lucifer on the ballot in the great Mormon state, you can expect all kinds of heck to break loose. God bless. Thank you very much. And we'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning as long as, long as we can get away with telling the truth and showing her name instead of saying it. Because we went from 11 or 1200 hits down to 74. I woke up or I went up here to check the computer last night and was stunned at how many hits they took away. Just because we used her name. Liberty Gibbet. Anyway, God bless. Thank you very much. And by the way, she's suddenly gone dark. Maybe your computer program went. Psst. Who are you talking about? That person on the Liberty, paper? Yeah, Liberty Gibbet. Oh, no, all. she's been all over the place doing interviews. Not in the last 24 hours. Oh, has she been? Because she didn't show up on the no, well, meeting with Clinton and Obama and yeah. all the rest of the Catholic Church were, you know, twenty well, they people were, showed up. They were, well, that was a funeral, and she did a, she did a, a video and and presented it at the at the funeral. A CGI. Yeah. Well, she did a video, and everybody thought, oh, how stupid is Numbers that? Number three hundred and forty-two. What's Molly goes, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Number three hundred and forty-three. Yeah, pulled she the did a she her. did a, a a long distance video recording of of her sympathy, and um, yeah, that's how it happened. So evidently, there was a big long um, discussion between not long, but it was a discussion between Obama and Biden, and uh, there was a lip reader. Did you see how they brought in a special lip reader to see what they were what saying? What were they saying? Well, so uh, so uh. Biden says, well, she's not very strong. And 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 um, Obama says, well, you know, we have to give her a chance and uh, I have to work with her a little bit. In other words, he has to get in there and do all these uh, selling, you know, and get in there and stump for her. And, oh, and Biden goes, oh, well, OK, if, that, if you say so. Biden, this is Obama number seven and Biden number 18. Yeah. Talking. They might also have. So they know she. They know she's in trouble. Oh, she's in big trouble. But they're not that worried about it, because they There's know so they've much got cheating. They've got so much backup, you know, with every name in the. <laughs> they got so much backup. It's not funny. You know the. They probably don't even know how much backup they have. There's so many layers. CBS went into Arizona because they started the voting and they couldn't find one person voting for Kamala. And yet it'll be 50-50. Yeah, oh, my God. Yeah, oh, my God. That's Why right. They couldn't find one person. But yet, but yet you see all these, quote, professional polls that are out there. They've got them. Oh, my God. Uh, Trump is 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 uh, increasing. It, there, He's almost up to 50-50 now. You know what oh, the, my God. You know what she said a couple of days ago? In order to get the black vote, we're going to legalize marijuana. In other words, all you blacks are high as a kite on marijuana. What a freak she, that, that. What a thing to say. Killed. Yeah. Anyway, God bless. Thank you very much. And don't be surprised if you see anomalies on your voting ballot. Yeah. We'll see you manana. Oh, Monday. Maybe even just Tuesday. We'll find out. Well, yeah. Bye-bye.